this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation using variables are separable method. So let's get started. Problem. Solve dy by dx equals to tan square of x plus y. Solution. Given differential equation is dy by dx equals to tan square x plus y. Consider as equation 1. Let x plus y equals to z. Now differentiate on both sides with respect to x. Then d by dx of x plus y equals to d by dx of z. Then dx by dx plus dy by dx equals to dz by dx. This becomes dx by dx1 plus that is derivative of x with respect to x is 1 plus derivative of y with respect to x plus derivative of z with respect to x. Okay, now we can take this 1 to RHS and you'll get dy by dx equals to dz by dx minus y. Okay, now this 1 becomes we'll simply replace x plus y by z and dy by dx by dz by dx minus 1. Okay. We will get dz by dx minus 1 equals to tan square z. Then take this 1 to RHS that is minus 1 to RHS then you will get dz by dx equals to tan square z plus 1. Or you can write it as dz by dx equals to 1 plus tan square z since we know that 1 plus tan square theta equals to secant square theta so this becomes dz by dx equals to secant square z. Okay. Now you can write this in variable separable form by taking all the functions of z and differential dz to one side that is in the LHS and taking differential dy to RHS. You will get 1 by secant square z into dz equals to dx. So here the variables are separable, right? Variables are separable. Fine. Since we know that Reciprocal of secant theta is cos theta. If you square on both sides, you'll get 1 by secant square theta equals to cos square theta. Now, we can replace this 1 by secant square z by cos square z. Then this becomes cos square z into dz equals to dx. Right? Also, we know that cos 2 theta equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. Then cos 2 theta plus 1. Simply we will take this minus 1 to LHS. Then you will get cos 2 theta plus 1 equals to 2 cos square theta. Then 1 by 2 into cos 2 theta plus 1 is equals to cos square theta. 
So now we can replace cos square z by 1 by 2 into cos 2z plus 1. That is 1 by 2 of cos 2z plus 1 into dz equals to dx. Now, you can take this to do RHS, then you get cos 2z, cos 2z plus 1 to dz equals to 2 into dx. Then, now, integrating on both sides, by integrating on both sides, Integral cos 2z plus 1 into dz equals to integral 2dx. Then integral cos 2z dz plus integral 1 dz equals to take this constant outside the integral. We will get 2 into integral dx. Since we know that. Since integral cos ax plus b into dx equals to 1 by a sin ax plus b plus integral constraint c and integral 1 into dx equals to integral dx equals to x plus integral constraint c. Then now apply this formula for a equals to 2 and x equals to z. We will get 1 by 2 sin 2z plus integral 1 into dz is z equals to 2 into integral dx is x plus integral constant c. Now put z equals to x plus y and this becomes 1 by 2 into sine 2 into x plus y plus x plus y equals to 2x plus integral constant c. Then 1 by 2 into sine 2 into x plus y equals to 2x. Take this x plus y to RHS. You will get plus c minus x minus y this is equals to 2x minus x is x minus y plus c. Therefore, that is 1 by 2 into sine into 2 into x plus y equals to x minus y plus c. Therefore, 1 by 2 into sine 20x plus y equals to x minus y plus c is the required solution. For the given differential equation. So this completes the problem. So this is all for now. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.